Hello everyone. Today's video is about an extension of k anonymity called k to the power of m anonymity or simply km anonymity. In this video I assume you're already familiar with k anonymity. If not, I will link the k anonymity video in this video's description. Make sure to watch it first before watching this video. Unlike L diversity and T closeness, KM anonymity does not extend K anonymity, but rather makes it applicable to a different scenario. Whereas we are dealing with relatively simple databases before, an identifier that is removed, a set of quasi identifiers, and a sensitive attribute, we are now dealing with multidimensional data of varying dimensionality. This can best be explained by using an example. Let's assume Bob goes grocery shopping. He buys coffee, tea, cherries, apples, grapes and diapers. On his way home, the top items in his bag are the fruits and Tom, his neighbor, sees Bob and these top items. If the supermarket Bob went to were to publish an anonymous database of all purchases that occurred on that day, it would be easy for Tom to find out Bob's complete shopping list and hence conclude that Bob's wife is pregnant. This problem already illustrates the major difference between KM anonymity and K anonymity. In KM anonymity, I don't have a fixed set of quasi identifiers and sensitive attributes. All items are treated as both, since it depends on the attacker's knowledge what is what. In our previous example, the attacker's auxiliary knowledge are the top items in Bob's shopping bag, but it could as easily have been three or any number of other items. This number is the M in KM anonymity. It is assumed that the maximum knowledge of the attacker is at most m items, three in our example before, of a specific transaction. The k has the same function as in k anonymity, we need k records that show the same m items. For example, if we have three more purchases that include the fruits purchased by Bob, we achieve 4-3 anonymity. Of course, this is usually not the case, so we need to perform a concept we already know from k anonymity, generalization. We do not use suppression, however. Since we're dealing with categorical data, meaning the items are texts and not numbers, we need to assume a hierarchy. Sticking with our grocery example, we already did some generalizations before. I have cherries, apples and grapes, which can be generalized to fruit. Tea and coffee can be generalized to beverages, and diapers, if need be, to household items. My categories are arbitrary, of course, and the actual hierarchy is context dependent. If you have watched my video on T closeness, you will remember the concept of hierarchies and how to perform generalization using them. We are now left with a list of generalized purchases with varying degrees of accuracy. Just as in normal K anonymity, we of course have a trade off between accuracy and privacy. There are a number of interesting algorithms on how to achieve and test for KM anonymity, but I won't go into too much detail in this video. Let me know in the comments if you want a deep dive into these algorithms. But for now, I conclude today's video. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.